Hi, this is Worth Godwin, WorthGodwin.com, planning the simplicity for a complex modern world. In this video, I'm going to be continuing my series of videos talking about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and other coins. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about mining. And that is one of the more tricky aspects for a lot of people. They don't really get what the mining is, and I want to help you understand it. Now, as I mentioned, cryptocurrency, which is not, it, it's basically begins with Bitcoin, but it is by no means ends with Bitcoin. It's far more than that. It is a incredibly significant technology. And I really, really want to help you guys understand this stuff, get in on it now and get ahead of the curve rather than trying to react to it later and play catch up. Because the more the earlier you get into this this is one of the technologies that really has a first mover advantage and the earlier you get into it the better off you're going to be uh, in numerous ways so basically bitcoin mining and cryptocurrency mining because all of the coins basically all of them are mined um and what this is is it's essentially a metaphor it's an analogy and it, the idea of course is to compare it to the idea of mining for gold and there's a lot of ways that this is it's analogous to or can be compared to gold mining or any other mining any other scarce resource um, but first off what is the purpose of mining what does it actually achieve and why is it that people get a reward for it and they get money for it so in other videos I've talked about the blockchain and the blockchain as you may remember is the public ledger system that is a key element of cryptocurrency like but like Bitcoin and what that is again is a series of transactions somebody sends somebody else money somebody receives money and so forth uh, for example and those series of transactions are collected and put together into what is known as a block that block is attached to followed by another block which is followed by another and another in a chain thus blockchain and again, it's really just a public ledger system. It just records the transactions. But the creation of that blockchain and ledger system is done by the miners. Essentially, what miners are doing is they are running a piece of software which runs on, originally on, for Bitcoin, it originally ran on a computer. Then it had to run on, on any computer. And then it became something where it could run only on fairly high-end computers. And then it became something it could only run on extremely high-end computers. And then it moved on to very specialized devices that are purpose built for mining. And the same process is happening with the other currencies. So when, when you're mining, whether you're using a computer or you're using a specialized mining device, you are volunteering your work or your computer's work or what have you to power that network and we all own the network as a result because it's we're we, we're the ones creating it by mining you and I or whoever it is that's involved in mining all the miners are creating that network and volunteering our services for that and that is why the miners are given a reward once one of those blocks is written down and then another one is going to follow it there's a block reward and the block reward it does vary from one coin to another and it also varies over time part of the process to allow for Bitcoin or the other currencies to have a very steady regulated release of coins that eventually reach some kind of in most cases some kind of a cap in the case of Bitcoin for example there's 21 mil million t total bitcoins that will ever be mined and created and never never will be a single one beyond that that's the cap and uh, that's that is the last that is the, the total number so that process the guy Satoshi Nakamoto who created Bitcoin he didn't want to have a situation where a whole bunch of people started mining and then all oh, boom all the 21 million co coins were suddenly mined all in the space of six months or something he wanted he had a very specific schedule and to allow for that schedule to progress at the right pace he created a system of uh, a couple factors one is the block reward which is how much money uh, how much money is created and rewarded to the miners to create a block 
and that reward, you can kind of think of it like how much gold is in the vein of gold that's being mined. And at first, the vine, the, all the, vine, the veins of gold, the miners are going to go and there's all this low-hanging fruit, like if you go back to the 1800s and the gold rush, the miners were able to go and reap huge amounts of gold from the initial veins that they went for because they could easily pick the, mine, the veins that they wanted and they picked the ones that were very plentiful and there were many of these plentiful veins. Over time, you had the miners had more competition and they had to start going to smaller veins that produced less and it got less and less and less over time. And this was a result of the competition. So there's a similar system that's set up in Bitcoin and other currencies, most other currencies, that creates a certain release pace that is adhered to no matter what. And so the block reward is a certain amount and then it starts to get reduced over time. And that is one of the measures to control that release of currency. The other measure is, other primary measure, is the difficulty. And that is a mathematical number where the higher the number, the more difficult it is to do the mining. And that is driven upwards by more people mining, and it drops down again, the fewer people are mining. Two types of mining. One is solo mining, which is where you, your computer or your device is mining for whatever currency by itself, solo mining. And if that is done, then one, if one manages to find a block and successfully write it on the blockchain, you get the entire reward. Solo mining becomes really difficult. And so what happens is miners will pool their resources together and they will use what is called a mining pool. All of you are pooling your resources to be able to find blocks and to get the reward faster, but of course the reward is shared. And so if you, you it's basically, it's usually shared by proportionate to the amount of work you put in. You have a decentralized network of all these people all over the world who are volunteering their work, their electricity, and their computers work to, to power this network, to allow the transactions to happen, to verify the transactions have happened, and to create that blockchain public ledger system, which is the basis of how it all works. Please use the comments section below this if you're watching this on my website, uh, and you can also feel free to shoot me an email, send me a tweet on Twitter, plain tech. Uh, on Twitter, and uh, I'd be happy to take your feedback and use it to help me, to guide me as to what to, to teach in the future. And of course, also, I much appreciate it if you would use the share buttons above the video or below it, depending on where you're watching this, or both, and share it with your friends and family through Facebook, Twitter, via email, Reddit, and so forth. Thanks very much for watching. Hope that makes sense and helps. Once again, this is Worth Godwin, worthgodwin.com, plain English simplicity for a complex modern world. Have a great day.